What's up, guys? Long story short, I just left that call. What I found was I was only getting 7 volts to the condensing unit. So I shuffled some wires around, should have tested out the spare wires to see if we had continuity. We did not. We were getting a voltage drop, not enough to pull the contactor in. So the guy, I talked to him a little bit, he had mentioned he had some rodents in his attic in the past, so it's a good good uh, guess that that's probably what's going on. He's probably got more rodents in there. They probably chewed on his wire. Um, I'm going to quote him to replace that thermostat wire from the condenser to the air handler. And I should get my voltage back. I had it at the air handler. I had 24 at the thermostat. And yeah, so that's probably why his thermostat was acting a little bit kooky. He had one of those Ecobees. And he was getting some kind of a humidity error and wiring incorrect. I don't know, but... I think I'm going to replace that thermostat wire and run it up the side of this two-story house. It's got an attic access right there by the air handler. It should be a big deal, hour and a half in and out. We'll put it in a nice half-inch conduit up the wall, and, you know, he can paint that later. That should rectify his issue. It's just sad that there's companies out here that, you know, they pressure these technicians to sell this equipment. But at the end of the day, they're not even doing the right thing. They're literally just um, ripping people off. They're not getting the proper help and guidance that they need to fix this equipment. And, you know, it's sad. As a result, they're probably going to get a bad review. So, it is what it is, man. If you're out there in the field and you don't know what's going on, ask, phone a friend. You know, do something. Don't just say, hey, it needs to be replaced and walk away. Because that's not doing the right thing. So, you know, it's going to come back and bite you every time. Just remember that.